Hello, my name is Adam and today I'm going to show you our new industrial printer, the Niels 480. I will briefly describe how to use it and then show you an example of the prints you can do with it. So, let's have a look at the machine. On this side we have an access to the working chamber. Let's take a look inside. The recoder is a more advanced solution, designed to handle millions of repetitions. The working space is 200 to 200 to 330 millimeters. Overflow of the powder is part of our automated powder circulation system. In the upper part of the printing chamber, we have galvo mechanism and laser section. You can manage the whole process using a touch screen or simply online with your computer. Let's have a look at how to fill the printer with the powder. All you need to do is connect the powder container. And now remove the lid. Fully loaded printer have enough powder for two or three runs in a row. The powder has dropped, close the lid, unplug it and it's ready. The whole powder management system is closed and there is no contact with the powder. Now let's take a look inside the cooling chamber. Here is the cooling box. When the printing process is complete, the fusion bed automatically moves here and ejects the print cake up. The blade mechanism will separate the print cake. Okay, so let's print something. It's super easy. Okay, it's heating up. I set a full bed print, so it will take 24 hours. Let's come back later. You can see the recoder is laying down the powder layer. Now the surface is warming up. And finally the laser starts sintering the layer shape. As you can see, it's really fast. The printing has finished. Time to collect the printouts. Use cooling box to transport print cake and also during the cleaning process. Remove the blade and use a suction hose to collect the most of the powder. Open the box and take the prints for detailed cleanup. Push the leftover powder down. Take the cooling box back to the printer. Lock it up. And now it's ready for the next run. Time for detailed cleaning. Simply use the brush. Now use the Sandblaster SLS. And here I have a finished printout. 